Speciation in Snapping Shrimp The feisty shrimp that kills with bullets made of bubbles. Snapping shrimp, aka pistol shrimp, are crustaceans found in tropical temperate seas. Their most noticeable physical feature is a claw that can grow to be half the size of their entire body. This claw can be closed at lightning speed. It will produce a loud snap as a way to either stun its prey, deter predators or communicate with others. The popping of the bubbles causes water to cavitate and even produce light due to the high temperatures and pressure inside the bubble. The sound they make is like the grilling of bacon or the crackling of burning twigs. We're going to look at this specific snapping shrimps found in the Panama Canal area. Long ago, the ocean flowed freely between North and South America. Then, approximately 2.8 to 3 million years ago, the Isthmus of Panama arose, creating a land bridge between the two continents. This is a narrow strip of land with the sea on either side, forming a link between the two larger land areas. This form of speciation is known as allopatric speciation and it is when a geographic barrier like the isthmus separates two or more places. Originally, the populations of snapping shrimp were free to interbreed and move amongst themselves. The population is a group of organisms of the same species living in a particular place at a particular time, being able to freely interbreed. A biological species can be defined as a group of organisms that interbreed to produce fertile offspring. The evolutionary process during which a new species form is known as speciation. The most common form of speciation occurs due to separation. Did you know that some of these little creatures will pair into monogamous lifetime-long bonds? When they get separated by this physical barrier, we talk about the founder population effect. There is a loss of genetic variation that occur when the new population is established with only a small number of individuals. Some others of these little organisms have mastered the art of symbiotic relationships, teaming up with all kinds of little sea creatures. If there is enough genetic drift, there is a flow of alleles into and out of the population due to migration and crossbreeding. Due to the separation, it results in two populations that will be exposed to completely different environmental conditions. They develop in isolation from each other and they cannot cross-breed anymore. In their different environments, they tend to live in colonies where they cluster close together so if you listen, you can hear a whole chorus of snapping. This is then followed by reproductive isolation.
the two populations become reproductively isolated from one another. And there are the process of natural selection that also takes place. The environments of the geographical areas differ, which means that they exert different selection pressures on each of the population. The genetic changes that accumulate in the two populations may be caused by natural selection, sexual selection or random genetic drift. During natural selection, it occurs independently in each area and different traits are selected for to benefit for the organisms in each environment. On the long run, this then leads to a change in the gene pool of the two populations. They become very different in both genotype and phenotype. A phylogenetic study of seven pairs of similar-looking shrimp from two sides of the isthmus showed a close genetic relationship between sister species, but during mating experiments in the lab, they failed to produce viable offspring. In fact, when put together, they snapped aggressively at each other, indicating that they are now two separate species based on reproductive isolation. I hope you learned something cool and interesting about these little snapping shrimp. I know that sonar operators in the Navy feels very irritated by them because of the very loud noises that they make that interferes with their sonar readings. Please like and share and subscribe to the channel. And hey, look here, I've got some more videos on natural selection and speciation.